Hey everyone, today is Ash Wednesday. It's the first day of the season of Lent, this part of the church year that we set aside in order to prepare our hearts and our minds to remember and reflect on what Jesus did for us on Good Friday and giving himself up for us, but also to celebrate the events of Easter Sunday when Jesus rose again from the dead, conquering sin and death and giving us the promise of new life. Many people use this season to uh, prepare by giving something up for Lent. Uh, You can give up a certain kind of food or drink, or you can give up social media or some other form of entertainment over these next 40 days. And the, the point of that is not to say, hey, look at how disciplined I am, God. Look how impressive I am with my ability to give something up. No, the purpose is to create more space in our lives to hear from God to deepen our walk with him as we go toward Good Friday and Easter. So maybe there's something you can think about giving up over these next 40 days to do just that. Or maybe giving something up isn't really your thing. Maybe you could think about building something in to your schedule. Maybe you could add in a spiritual practice of some sort. Uh, Maybe a, a practice of reading scripture, a practice of prayer, or spending time in silence just reflecting on God's love for you. Maybe you want to set aside a couple days a week to go on a prayer walk through your neighborhood and pray for your neighbors or the schools around you. Or maybe there's a nonprofit that you could serve with uh, once a week or once a month, whatever you have time for during this season. And again, those are not ways of saying, look at how impressive I am. Aren't you pleased with me, God, for all these things I'm doing? No, these are spiritual practices that allow us to hear from God, to be reminded of his grace and his love for us. So I just encourage you to think about some way that you could spend the next 40 days of Lent preparing your heart and mind and drawing near to God during the season as he also draws near to us. It is my great hope and prayer that God would use this time to draw us near to him. Hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you on Sunday.